After nearly eight years as host of MSNBC's Countdown with Keith Oberman. This is the last edition of Countdown. The veteran broadcaster said goodbye to his viewers last night. There were many occasions, particularly in the last two and a half years, where all that surrounded the show, but never the show itself, was just too much for me. Oberman never said why he was leaving. During his tumultuous tenure, his liberal views became the driving force behind MSNBC's primetime shift to the political left. But as the years passed, relations with his bosses became increasingly strained. Keith Oberman has been battling with MSNBC management for two and a half years at least. In November, Oberman was suspended for two days for making donations to three Democratic candidates, a violation of company ethics policies. In a statement last night, MSNBC said the company and Oberman had, quote, ended their contract, adding MSNBC thanks Keith for his integral role in MSNBC's success. That whole primetime lineup kind of built on the quote-unquote brand that uh, uh, Oberman represented for them. Oberman's departure comes just days Days after cable giant Comcast received government approval to acquire MSNBC's parent company, NBC Universal, and MSNBC spokesman denied the merger had anything to do with the decision. Comcast, which is expected to close the deal next week, said in a statement it has no operational control at any of NBC's properties, including MSNBC. Late Friday, MSNBC host Rachel Maddow, Oberman's liberal protege, said she knew little about what happened. All I know is that it was between Keith and the company. Observers say Maddow is now the heir apparent. In a way, she's the next generation of MSNBC. She's still in her 30s, and she's able to carry the ball forward. Oberman was reportedly in the middle of a four-year, $30 million contract. It's not clear what his next move will be. MSNBC announced liberal host Lawrence O'Donnell will be taking over the 8 p.m. time slot. Russ? Elaine Kihana, thanks a lot.